right ingredients served with flair. A perfect combination like you and pick and pay. Lekker Kia! Ja, nee, dit is een baie rare geleentheid vir my om in die kombuis te staan saam met Michael en Etikie Lekkers te maak. En uh, ja, meneer, hoe gaat het met jou? Goeiemorgen. Erg goed, dankie. Erg goed, ek is so blij dat het gaat erg goed met jou. En het vir ons een baie interessante recept gebring vandag. Iets wat uh, die gewone mens liever jy sal maak nie, want die, die smake wat, wat deel in dit is bykie erg. <laughs> Anders. <laughs> Anders, ja. Yeah. So what do we make today, Michael? We get to make a, a version of a potato latke, which is a very traditional Jewish potato pancake. Mm -hmm. And I remember because we made those last year, when, when there was Hanukkah, Hanukkah yes, we made a latke. Absolutely. And so we're going to tweak it slightly and put some apple into it. Some apple. So you you need to take a really nice clean kitchen cloth. One that you, you normally wouldn't use to wipe the dishes with. Absolutely. Preferably. So yeah. <laughs> buy a, a clean kitchen cloth if you don't have one. All right, and, so then, and then grate the potato into it. Okay. And We've got some onion grapes there, which we'll add. Yes. And some apple. All right. Okay. Now, one of the things that you might do is to take that spoon. Yes. And then to take the, some of the ginger, because we're going to make a ginger yogurt dressing. Yes. So if you could take take mainly the, the ginger and not the syrup, and then just add it um, to the yogurt there. All right. I'm going to do exactly that. And you said just early on that you you were kind of experimenting with different tastes. That's how you came up with this recipe. That's how one, yeah, that's how I tend to come up with most with with most things, because mm -hmm. um, I like I like different tastes. I like um, I like putting s sweet with savory and sometimes savory with sweet. Yes. Um, and it just depends on, you know, where the mood takes you. <laughs> I think you could actually add all of that, yeah. add the syrup as well. Oh, yes, because I was actually going to ask you just now, what happens if you do add the syrup? Does it just add it a just, different texture? It'll thin it down a little bit, but that doesn't make any difference. Okay. Now, a wonderful thing that you can do with, with that um, yogurt and, and preserved ginger mm -hmm. um, is you can slice really nice cold ripe mango Wow. and put that across the top. In that then, sauce? In that sauce. Uh -huh. And then you can put just a little scrap of, um, of brown sugar over the top. Yes. And it just makes the most wonderful dessert. Stir wow, it up. Yeah. okay, I'll stir it up. I don't want to be making mistakes because I've been pretty clumsy in the kitchen this morning. No, you're doing very well there. <laughs> and of course, if you've just joined us and you'd like to get the ingredients to this recipe, SMS the keyword POTATO to 33728, potato, and you'll get that. And of course, it's uh, Ask Michael Monday. Yeah, absolutely. So any culinary questions you may have, call us on 0839133728 and ask away, or you can even post your recipes and questions on our Facebook page. So. We had some interesting um, <clears throat> some interesting questions after Thursday when we announced the, uh, lots of listeners, lots of viewers, yeah, um, yeah writing in and, and um, asking for various things. So we're going to, from Thursday this week, we're going to, um, we're going to start talking about them. Very, very cool. Another question I have. Yes. Instead of adding ginger to this yes. yogurt, it's plain yogurt, yes? It's, yeah, it's, it's Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Yeah. What else could you maybe add, let's say instead of ginger, that could, you know, equally spice up the, the, the flavor? Okay, well, you, you do probably want a bit of strength of flavor, but it might be quite fun to, to put some, um, some watermelon preserve. Watermelon preserve, yeah. okay. Or um, some preserved lemon. Uh -huh. Um, maybe you could just put a, a spoonful of, um, of of marmalade in. Wow! All these different things. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, if you want to, if you want to leave out the the apple, yes, then you can put some chili in there. Wow. Okay. All oh, right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll that'll spice your life. I think this is bit. definitely something Kia would enjoy, as she's craving all these weird things these days. Ah. Uh, right. So now what we've got here is. I like not, this. This we, is going to be so cool. Look at this. We now just want to squeeze out oh, the man. moisture here. Why is that? Well, because the thing is that, that this is stuff that you're going to cook off anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you can get your mixture as dry as you possibly can, yes. then your cakes will be crisper. Ah, but now here's my experimental side in the kitchen. I'd be, I'd be kind of looking to take that sauce or the juices and put them into this yogurt we've got going. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because <laughs> your, your potato is raw. Okay, so don't do what I would have done there because my experiment has just failed. Absolutely. So <laughs> now we're going to add flour. We're going to add the, the grated onion. onion. Uh -huh. we're going to add a bit of baking powder. There we go. And then we just pop in a couple of eggs. Yes. Of course, if you are a pregnant mommy and you are craving all these weird kind of things, and you think of making this, just make sure that the egg is very well cooked because you can't have a top. Absolutely. Done. Yeah. 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 All those and niggly jammies. Don't eat. Um, um, mayonnaise is made from raw eggs either. 
Oh, there we go, there we go. Pregnant tip of the day. Absolutely. Okay. Right, so now we need to we need to get going here. Okay, just get in there. Just gonna add the, the other egg. Uh-huh. There we go. So this would make, I don't know, what, what kind of meal would you serve? Would, would it be a lunchy I kind of thing? I think it would be a lunchy kind of thing, yeah. Um, um, you know, if you had maybe had some nice crisp bread and a little salad to go with it, it would really, it would really give you a nice lunch. Lovely. I like the word we just made up there, lunchy. Lunchy, yeah, lunchy, lunchy kind, kind of thing. <laughs> right. That looks good. So there we go. Is that the kind of consistency That's you're looking That's the kind for? of consistency one is looking for. And then yeah. all you need to do then is simply to just pop them in there. Very, very hot pan. Some oil. Some nice hot oil. Uh -huh. and, then, and then you just sort of flatten them out. Flatten them out with your oh, spatula. Yes. And then let them... Let them cook until they're starting to crisp up around the edges. Yes. <clears throat> and getting brown on the underside. Mm -hmm. Turn them over and carry on. Now, if you go into the oven, yes. you'll find some, uh, some ones we pre-made there. Yes. A bit cheeky. There we go. There we go. I'm trying to get this. <laughs> I'm having a tough time. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, got it. Because especially cooking stuff in, uh, or deep frying things like that, I always... Um, I'm a bit afraid as as to how, you know when do you know when it's right when do you turn yeah it I think you've got to you've got to get it this sort of this sort of browny colour yes so, so now mm -hmm. we'll serve two of these there you go if you've just joined us and you're looking for the ingredients in this recipe SMS that keyword it's potato to three three seven two eight and we'll we'll SMS and them then you can put a spoonful of your lovely sauce on top there we go am I going to drizzle it over yeah. just to make it look presentable how's that there you go Perfect. how's my presentation. Perfect, a bit mean on the sauce. <laughs> Perhaps that right. it is. That's brilliant. There All you right. go. There you go. And that's done. And you can make about 18 of these from, from this recipe, so you can certainly happily feed your family of four. And of course, it'll be under 100 grams. Fantastic stuff. May I taste one of you these? You may, absolutely. I'm going to taste one of the ones that have not been placed on the mat, you know, because they look, they look pretty. There's a spoon or a fork, whichever. Fork, spoon, whichever you prefer. And here we go. So, what, what is it called again? It's called a potato, apple and potato pancake. Not pancake one word, pancake two words. Mm. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes, Michael, yes. The <laughs> sauce is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, brilliant. Okay, try it out at home. Let us know what you think of it. And thank you very much, sir. It's lovely being here. Really you. appreciate it. We'll see you after the break. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.